A while ago, a customer approached me about painting a couple of his 1 to 12 scale uh, RC bodies from Tamiya. He has various ones that I'm going to be painting for him over the next coming period. This is just the first of many. So this one is the 1 to 12 scale Lamborghini Countach. Like I said, I'm just going to be painting this. I'm not going to be building it. And it is an RC body, so there is not much more to the build than actually painting it. Other than that, the build is pretty straightforward and not a build, just a paint job. So as with any other build, I'm going to start off with removing all of the mold lines and also some of the sprues that are still on the body and also a couple of little imperfections here and there. And then just go over the entire body with some sanding sponges to prepare it for the primer and apply a couple light coats of primer. So I initially sanded the body with a 400 grit and that was a little bit too rough for this plastic so I had to re-sand it after the first coat of primer when all the imperfections came back up with some 600 grit to get it nice and smooth and then prime it again. The second coat of primer or the second stage of primer went a lot better than the first one, came up pretty smooth, had a little bit of an orange peely effect here and there, so with a 3000 grit sanding sponge going over the entire surface, sanding it nice and smooth, it was ready to go for the main base coat, and that is just black. The entire car is going to be painted black, he will be applying some stickers afterwards, period correct, as shown at the beginning of the video from the box art. Uh, that is what he wants to do and that is up to him. I'm just going to be painting it black. This was done in multiple coats using street blisters. Now the first coat went on really nice and light enough and the second coat I got a little over enthusiastic and applied it a little bit too thick so there was a small reaction between the paint and the plastic underneath. Nothing too major and since it's not a metallic color after the clear coat that will pretty much be disappearing so I'm not going to be needing to fix it in any case here at this stage. I'm just going to move on to painting it, making sure that the entire body is fully covered in black and then getting it ready for the clear coat. Like I said, the first coat went on nice and smooth. The coverage is pretty good on this paint from Street Blisters, but a second coat was required. And as I said before, I was a little over enthusiastic and applied it a bit too thick, way too thick actually. And uh, that is just simply my impatience sometimes showing up when I'm painting black or painting in general. I want to get it covered as soon as possible and I shouldn't do that. Now, nonetheless, it did have a small reaction, like I said, here and there, but since it is just a base coat black and no metallics in it, after the clear coat was applied, all those imperfections disappeared and smoothed out nicely. Now, if this would have been a metallic color, it would need to be sanded down, smoothed out, and repainted. But like I said, it isn't, so I could just move on to the clear coat and use that as the smoothing out stage.
Initially, the stickers that were supplied with the build for this customer I thought were decals, but it turned out they were actual stickers. And that's why I applied a first coat of clear, I planned to sand that down nice and smooth for a sweet base to lay the decals on top of. But since they are not decals but stickers, I did not really feel comfortable putting these on. Nonetheless, the clear coat was not smooth enough just to leave it here and finish it off. It needed to be sanded smooth and another coat of clear needed to be applied on top of it to get that nice smooth finish. Now, if I were to apply the decals, I would do that after the sanding and then clear it again. So that didn't change all that much, but since there were no decals to apply, I simply just needed to sand it smooth and get it ready for the second coat of clear to go on top of it and also the third one to follow after to make it nice and smooth. After applying the final coat of clear, I was really happy with the result. It gave a smooth finish for some, maybe a little bit too glossy and a bit too thick, but that is just a matter of personal preference. I let that sit and cure for a couple of days before moving on to the masking stage in order to paint all of the flat black grills, some of the inlays, the rubbers around all of the windows, and a couple parts for the bumpers and also the wider over fenders to all be painted in a flat black. And after removing all of the masking, that's pretty much it. I did have to do a couple of touch-ups here and there with some additional matte black to the wing uprights as those were supposed to be flat black, but I didn't see that in the initial photos, so I missed that and did that afterwards. And also at the request of the customer, I painted some extra bits here and there like the headlight buckets in a silver, these wing uprights that I just mentioned, and also the latches and logos on the rear. Plus some various bits on the sprues for some of the grills, the front bumper, and other inlay pieces all around. That's it for this one. Off to the customer and now back to my regular builds. And I'll pick up a couple of more of these builds in the future. 